We've been regular visitors to Lothlock Precision Engineering over the last few years. They're always doing something different, expanding, new accreditations, investment in new machines. But Jim, what have you done this time? Uh, we bought a treatment shop. Um, so aerospace approved, NADCAP and uh, AS9100 approved. So we can offer wet processing, NDT, paint, um, assembly and fabrication. So we view it as a good fit alongside the current business and it gives us the option to offer the whole process from now on. Okay, so you can work with the components you manufacture at Loftlock and other customers as well? Absolutely, so you know, we're here to support our existing customers on both sites and develop new ones. Excellent, I think probably best to go and see the processes going on then. I think that's a good idea. So Noel, you're the works manager here. There are a number of different processes undertaken Talk me through them, please. Yep, um, we have our own uh, fabrication department and also our customers will send in their fabricated work and machine work for chemical processing, painting and non-destructive testing. Okay, so we're at the NDT non-destructive testing section here. Yep. Talk me through some of the processes, please. Yeah, um, in non-destructive testing, we have acid etch, um, penetrant floor detect and also magnetic floor detection as well. Okay, and what sort of faults and things will that identify? Uh, that would uh, identify uh, machine abuse and also any cracks in the material itself. Okay, and in terms of technicians and sign off on those components? Yep, we have two level twos on site and we also have off site a level three. Okay, so that's great insight to, into the NDT area. Let's go and look at the next process. Okay. We've just seen the NDT area, but where are we now? Yeah, well, we're in our main treatments house. Um, in our treatments house, we do chemical processing. Um, that consists of uh, chromic anodizing, sulfuric anodizing. Uh, we also do allochroming, passivation, um, phosphating coating, and also rumbling and cadmium plating. We've also got uh, a heat treatment plant here as well. Okay, so you've got surface treatment. Do, you, do they have any process before they go through the anodizing, for yeah. example? Uh, yep, uh, some uh, components will need a surface prep um, and we'll grip blast them. Okay, and then you mentioned heat treatment as well? Yes, in our heat treatment department we have annealing, precipitation and also solution heat treatment. Okay, and that's really highly controlled. What sort of temperature does that go up to? Oh, they can go up to about 500 degrees Celsius. Right, so be very careful with that. Now, you've got a process going on here. What, what is this specifically? Yep, uh, inside uh, this tank here, we have um, two components that's been already um, sulfuric anodized. Now we're actually gonna give it a color. Um, in this tank is our black dye. Um, what are these balls sitting on the top? Yep, the Foxborn is um, to keep the temperatures locked in um, as much as possible so that it don't all evaporate out. Great selection of different processes in here, but you've got more to show us. So we're in our inspection room here. From what we've seen before, we also do uh, painting, rubber coating and part marking, which consists of fiber etching, pen and also stamping. Okay, so you've got loads of different processes here. Quick summary of all the ones you do. Yep, so we have our NDT department, uh, we have our chemical processing, our fabrication department, our heat treatment and painting. Noel, great insight to, into what you do, thank you. No problem, thank you. So, Noel's shown us all around the processes, which is really, really interesting, but where are you actually going with this? Well, I mean, we want to support our existing customers, both at Loftlock and there's quite a blue chip uh, customer base here. Um, so we want, you know, we're here to support them and develop stronger links with them and obviously provide a good service you know, in, in finishing as well as machining from now on. So, so that, that process you had to provide to existing clients, new client base? Absolutely, you know, we've got the accreditations on board, so we, we are attractive and we plan to develop the business further and look at new processes as well. And in the name Aerospace, it's not just Aerospace, other subcontractors? Absolutely, we, you know, we will take on other work for other subcontractors to support their needs. So great opportunity. We look forward to coming back in a little while to see how things are going. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thank you very much for coming.